Everyone, welcome back to the show. It's a fresh week, new week, new you, all that good jazz. I hope you're making more money this week and getting in better shape and doing all of that stuff. Uh, it's like a new weekly resolution kind of thing. Me and the uh, four-legged friend here, we're doing just fine. A little bit hungover. We had a podcast that we did last night. And I say we, I was doing more of the talking than him. But uh, it was one that involved drinking. Um, it actually had nothing to do with drinking, but we drank during it. So a little slow today. Today's video is a bit of a market update, if you will, uh, related to the subject matter of forbearance. So we're going to get into that just a little bit. A couple quick reminders. If you have not, it would be very helpful if you subscribe to the channel and maybe drop a comment here and there, especially in these early days when the channel is very new. Um, it's always tough to get that ship off the ground. So those subscribes definitely help out a lot. And then uh, if you guys need any real estate help, that's actually uh, what I do in my day-to-day -day, uh, business and life. So you can just go to 1911syndicate.com. We've got a lot of different places that uh, we can help you out. And if we're not listed in your area, you can always reach out and we'll see if there's anything that we can do. Update on forbearance. So let's just hit you with a little bit of recap. Yes, for those of you that ever wonder, I'm a notes guy, it's what I do. So. COVID hits, right? Obviously 2020 COVID hits and a lot of people get laid off from their jobs and they can't make their mortgage payment at all or in many cases can't make their full mortgage payment. So they reach out to their uh, service provider, right? Whoever they pay their mortgage payment to, whether it's Wells Fargo or some local uh, credit union or, or whatever it is. And total, we rack up over 7 million Americans that wind up taking advantage of forbearance. Forbearance, of course, being essentially just a pause to making your mortgage payment. Like, hey, I'm under duress and I can't make my full payment. Is there something that we could work out? So I thought the number was actually closer to 9 million people that took advantage of it. But the last numbers that I saw, saw said seven. So who knows? Seven to 9 million people took advantage of this. So here's a couple little updates for you. First of all, the foreclosure moratorium that ends on July 31st, which would be about two days from the time uh, ago from the time that I'm filming this. So we should be good to go now. AKA this was, you really, you couldn't be foreclosed on during this period of time that lasted for the last year and a half. There is a uh, soft part, part of my heart that says, okay, well, that's good. You know, some people were, you know, rough times and that's good, but we have passed those times now. Alluded to the fact that I go to the deli counter yesterday at my local grocery store and uh, Boar's Head, who many of you will know, uh, a, a deli meat provider across the country. There was basically no Boar's Head or really any deli meats in the deli cabinet. And I said to the man behind the deli counter, pretty thin today, isn't it? And he goes, yeah, basically what's happening, there's a, uh, it's not a strike, but Boar's Head can't get, they can't get anyone to work and uh, the meats aren't getting cut. And so, hey, I think it's time we go ahead and in that mortgage foreclosure. I know that the uh, current administration is maybe trying to extend it a little bit. I'm perfectly comfortable if that thing ends because, hey, let's be honest, if you got the option to work uh, and you're not probably time you need to be making that mortgage payment or get the hell on out your house, right? So that is up, and in my opinion, hopefully that stays up. On the forbearance, just some numbers update on that. So the amount of people still enrolled in forbearance programs is now down to 1.75 million people. So some people's forbearance periods have either started to lapse, really October 1, I believe, is the main date when like we really start getting back to normalcy for providing nothing else weird happens, which who the hell knows at this point. But hey, we're down to 1.75 million people that are still taking advantage of forbearance. And that is a good sign. It's a good sign because really, you know, a lot of people have been going, okay, well, with people missing their mortgage and forbearance and foreclosure moratorium and, and all this kind of stuff, like, hey, we're probably heading for a market that's going to turn in favor of buyers because there's going to be all these like foreclosures or, you know, short sales and, you know, people selling their houses and everything because they can't make the payments. And, and they're thinking it's kind of a 2008 thing. Look, th there's a big difference between 2008 and right now, which is that in 08, people were upside down or they're underwater on their house, aka they owed more in their mortgage than they could sell their house for. So selling their house did no good because they would sell their house and they'd still have a $30,000 bill that they had to pay off, right? That's why you saw all the foreclosures, or at the very least, that's a part of it. Well, we're in a very different situation now, which is we have a very good housing market. And most people, even if they're behind on their payments, they could just sell their house right now instead of dealing with if they say hypothetically two months from now when their forbearance ends, they're not ready to start making that payment. 
look, the reality is they're better suited to just go ahead and sell their house. It would appear that we're not really heading for any rocky waters. The numbers being down to 1.75 million up, for, you know, down from seven to nine million people in forbearance at its high for me is a good sign of those 1.75 million people that are still left in the program. Really, you got a few options on what these people are going to do. One thing they're going to do is they're just going to start making their payments again. Okay. And I, I would say, hey, probably the overwhelming majority of people just, I'm just predicting, I don't know, but you know, I'd say the majority of them are probably just going to resume making their payments because we know that employers are looking for people to come work. If you need a job, go to Boar's Head. They need people to go cut their, their deli meats, right? Like they definitely need people so you can go get a job there, wherever they cut those meats at. So I think a lot of people are going to start making their payments again because, like, there is work out there. Everyone's desperate for workers. It's just that they're getting paid to not work. So it's a little bit of a, not a little bit, it's a very weird situation. So I think most people are going to start making their payments. Some people are, some people might get foreclosed on if they're, you know, I, I think it's just unlikely you're going to see much of that. I think the majority of people, if they're not ready to start making their payments again, you're just going to see them sell their house between now and, you know, now over the next 90 days. I think that's the more likely scenario because if you said, well, I'm either going to get foreclosed on or I could just go ahead and list my house like any other house would be. I'm just going to go ahead and list my house. And even though I'm behind on my payments and I might have 15 grand of payments that I have to catch up on, I'm still going to walk away with 30 grand at the end of the deal. So why not? Let's just go ahead and list the house and sell it. So I think that that's more likely what you're going to see. I'm not particularly, um, I'm just not holding my breath that we're about to see some big downturn in the market. I think we could see some little bit of bump in inventory from some people currently in forbearance saying, hey, look, I'm not ready to start making these payments. Cool, they're gonna wanna go ahead and start selling their house like now. You definitely need to get cracking on that if you are in that position. But I think that's more likely what you're gonna see. So might see a little bit of supply increase um, and it would appear the demand is at least steady, but maybe dropping just a little from what it's been given that mortgage applications are down a little bit and some of that good stuff. So, hey, I'll be the first to tell you I'm no fortune teller. Um, you know, I'm just a lowly real estate agent, right? But um, that is just my two cents based on logic and some data and just kind of deductive reasoning there. So anyway, hope that's helpful. Don't hold your breath. David Letterman used to do that. He used to throw the at the end of the top 10 list. I tried to do it. I don't think it went super good. Maybe we'll try to institute that at the end of these videos. But I do thank you for watching. I, uh, you know, don't know this is super helpful, but uh, just some basic updates for you guys. Um, thanks for subscribing and comment. Do all that kind of stuff. Let us know if you need anything. We always comment back and get back to you. And yeah, thanks a lot, everyone.